I never really been into jewelry as a kid. I'm just super into fashion in general. So I think, you know, when you look good, you feel good. And, and jewelry definitely can add to that. Hey, what's happening, people? I'm Jason Derulo, and this is GQ on the Rocks. All right, so I guess we can start here. This four represents my Everything Is Four album. And the reason why I called the album Everything Is Four is because I was seeing four everywhere, you know? And I, and I feel like four is like a complete number. It's four seasons. It's a, it's a whole pie, right? Four is whole. And I was just feeling very thankful for my life and I felt very full and uh, blessed with where I was at in life. This piece right here is, a, is an AP. And it's two-tone. I'm not usually a fan of rose gold. So this was like the first rose gold piece that I bought. And you know, it took me a second to buy it, but I was just so in love with the craftsmanship. I actually performed in Saudi Arabia at the first concert in history where women and men could be in the audience at the same time. And it was the first time this ever happened. And it was like an emotional experience. I mean, people were crying in the audience, as you could imagine. It was a crazy experience for me as well, just to be a part of that history, that legacy. Right after that, when I got to the to the house, you know, I wanted something special. And I think this this uh, piece is really special. It's a one of a kind, and I hope nobody else has it, because <laughs> they told me it's a one of a kind. While we're on watches, in a travel case like this one, I want to be sure that I have a watch for every occasion. You definitely want to make sure you have your platinums, you want to have your golds, and you want to have the two tones where you can wear uh, other jewelry with it. So, you know, talking about my rings, if I want to wear all gold rings, I could easily, you know, throw on, you know, a gold watch that has a few diamonds in it and be and be slick. If I want to be a little toned down, I'll, I'll rock this one. You know what I'm saying? If I got a turtleneck on, you know, and I want to do a, something super classy, I got some boots, uh, I probably won't wear any diamonds at all. I'll just kind of keep it super classy and very tamed. But for the bust down occasions, I like to I like to rock this one. This is like a bust down occasion. Basically, in any lighting, you know, you're gonna fuck up the whole room. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's a chandelier, like Cali would say. It's chandelier! <laughs> this is an AP as well. I've, I've grown to love APs over the years. A custom AP easily can go for about $150,000. You know, it, it just kind of depends on, on the craftsmanship. That's something that I really pay attention to, the setting of the diamonds, because it, it matters, you know, in the shine, it matters in, you know, how it, how it kind of comes across. But, you know, I've just become a watch collector over the years, so I'm, you know, I pay attention to that kind of shit. So this piece right here, this is significant because this is not my ring at all. I actually bought this for my ex-girlfriend. It's not a situation where, like, she's like, fuck you, here's your ring. Um, it was not that kind of breakup at all. You know, it has, it has a B on the front. I remember in, within my bedroom, there was a beehive, <laughs> like right outside my room. So the bees were kind of sneaking in my room somehow and I had, I was just infested with bees in my bedroom. It was the craziest shit you could imagine. That experience, you know, kind of, kind of uh, rang very true. So like I, I bought a ring that had a bee on it. You know, I think I'll just give it back to her. So when I'm packing for tour, I think about what I'm gonna wear for my show. And usually what I'm wearing for my show, chain-wise, uh, will be a choker like this. I mean, I don't even know if you call this a choker, because, I mean, it is kind of choking me, but it's not, like, super tight. Because it's it fits close to my body. It can't be flopping around, because I move and dance a lot. And sometimes, you know, you can get whacked in the face, or, like, whacked in the arm, it's like, it ends up crazy. Like, the other day, I had a long gold chain on, because I had a gold fit, so I was like, yo, this chain looks crazy. And I did a flip back, and then, of course, the, the chain went above my head, and it got stuck in my, in my in-ears. So I had to take off my in-ears and then took off the chain. It's during the show, and I actually don't wear rings on stage because I lose them 100% of the time. <laughs> this one is, it's, this is probably like my favorite chain ever. The size, the girth, the, the fact that it's black is, is pretty crazy. So these are both Raphael, Raphael and Co. But I believe this one was about 90, 90,000. Do you wear, you wear earrings yeah. during the show? I do, yep. Okay. I'm into the, the hanging pieces. I have been for about, probably, I think two years now. I've been into the hanging earrings. Fashion is recycled and it's deciding when to bring certain things back and I thought it was time, definitely, to bring the hanging earring back. 
and it's been it's been fun to see everybody follow suit. <laughs> so this was my first rose gold chain that I bought. It would mean it's mixed obviously with platinum and rose gold. I bought this purely to match uh, the the rose gold and, and platinum watch. This this is a set to match, but I call this the Black Panther joint because when I whenever I put this on, I feel very I feel very ethnic and I feel very rooted to my roots, you know what I'm saying? This uh, I believe this one was about mm, 60,000. Uh, you've never seen a chain like this. This is this is one of a kind. This was special made. This chain right here, this was given to me by my cousin. Everybody around me knows that if you got something on and uh, I fuck with it, then chances are, you know, I'm gonna have to like like wear it somehow. You know what I'm saying? Where whether, whether it's like a belt or some shoes. If I like what you got on better than what I got on, oh nah, bruh, come on. So this J is for Johnny. <laughs> I was like, yo, I, I really like that. Yo, let me wear that, let me wear that one time. And it's never left my brief, my briefcase, so I actually gave him a Rolex in return, which the Rolex was a lot more expensive. But uh, yeah, he did me a solid, so I did him a solid. So this is a one of a kind piece as well, man. I mean, this one is annoying as fuck, to be honest. I hardly ever wear this one, I really like it. It's, 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 was custom made. Feels like something that I should give to my dog. So I actually tried to try it around my dog's neck and it wouldn't fit around his neck because his neck is super fat. Uh, it has like this vibe that I want, but the shit it just always get tangled. Like, 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 bruh. And the, the only person that can fix it is my brother. Like, I'd be like, Joe, can you, can you fix this shit for me? So I, I hardly ever wear it. This is probably 40, 40, 50. Oh, so this piece right here was actually given to me on my birthday just recently. Uh, it was given to me by uh, a, f a friend in Dubai. We share the same birthday and um, yeah, he just you know popped up and, and gave me a bracelet and I, and I thought it was really cool. I, I don't normally wear too many braces, but yeah, I think, I think it's a vibe. I wear it all the time now. So this is platinum uh, and there are there are diamonds, it's diamond encrusted. You know, it's, it's not too much, it's not it's like super gaudy, it's very classy. I feel like you can rock this in, in, in any instant, you know what I'm saying? So the special thing about this chain here is that every single side is encrusted in diamonds. So like ev it's like every piece, you know, so it just makes it shine a lot more than the average chain because the, the diamonds are are really small and spread across every single in every single area. Um, I don't really remember how much this one was to be honest. Um, but I remember him saying it. Uh, no, this one cost that much because look at the setting. Look at the setting. That's the shit that they always give you. Look look at the setting. Look how it's set, bro. Like I. <laughs> I have a really good knowledge when it comes to jewelry, especially because I shop around. You know, I don't necessarily just go off of one person's price. You know, if, if I've seen this chain and I like it, I'll go to two other jewelers and I'll see what they have it, what they'll give it to me for. But I also check, you know, how, how the, the diamonds are set and, and the craftsmanship on the piece just so that, you know, you, you're comparing apples to apples, right? Just because a, a piece is cheaper on this side doesn't necessarily mean it's better. Yeah, so this one is a, is a super vibe as well. This one uh, I like to wear often. Oh, another rose gold piece. <laughs> you can tell I like that watch, huh? <laughs> this one has a, has a clasp. And the, the clasps are dope because it just gives you that extra bit of a bust down, <laughs> you know? And just so you know, the style is to wear the, the bust down portion on the side. So mine are in the back right now, so this is wrong. <laughs> so you kind of want it like right on the side so it kind of shows a bit. Um, you don't want it all the way in the back because nobody sees the back, but you also don't want it all the way in the front because, you know, then it's a little like too showy. It's like, yo, look at the, look at the diamonds. So you kind of want it like right on the side so it's kind of like peeking a little bit. This one was about 40 as well. High Marv actually made this. High Marv is in Miami. Once you spend a million dollars with High Marv, he gives you one of these cases. And it's the case, I ain't gonna lie to you, like it's like my favorite, it's like my favorite case. Is that gator skin? What is that, ostrich? It's ostrich, it's ostrich skin. <laughs> um, this is a cool chain. 
these are actually not diamonds at all. So this is cool because these th these platinum platinum balls, balls, they're cut in a way where they shine. They shine really well, and they kind of look like diamonds, you know. So it has it has a shine to it without you know having to break the bank at all, which I think is cool. You know, it's it's like like right in the middle. It's a classy vibe. These are are uh, pretty pretty simple. It's just you know the regular diamond chains. The charm is cool. So the charm has a bunch of little diamonds kind of here. Kind of reminds you of a kid's game, but ain't nothing kitty about this. It's a diamond chain that probably runs uh, maybe seventy thousand. Like this and then the charm. And the charm is probably not as as much. It's probably um, maybe like fifteen thousand or something like that. I really like this piece. I wear this on special occasions. I feel like this piece is like the ultimate piece of class. You know what I'm saying? I put that on. You know what I'm saying? You feel special. Feel special, you know what I'm saying? You can make anybody feel special with this chain. You want to make somebody feel special? You put this piece together. You know, I'm I'm really thoughtful when it comes to money. For a long period of time, I only bought gold. So like I just had gold, 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 everything because you know you can't lose with gold. But eventually, it was like, man, you you can't treat every single thing in life as as an investment. Now I try to enjoy myself and just do things, you know, that just make me happy.